As a fan of vehicle simulator games, I've always wanted a controller that offers a more realistic driving experience. As you know, you don't get that feeling when playing with a regular controller. That's why many people use an expensive steering wheel to truly enjoy their racing games. I'm one of those people. I've wanted a steering wheel since I was a kid, but I couldn't get one of these because I am from Iraq and it's hard to find everything you want here. So I decided to make one myself. Seven years ago, I built a cheap steering wheel using an Arduino and some simple materials. I got the steering from old Opal cars and I built the pedals from wood. I was so happy at that time. I received a lot of support from my family and the people around me. I was even invited to appear on a television program because of it. Racing wheels are great, but I have one problem with them. They take up too much space on the desk. Every time you play, you need to set it up and then remove it from the desk once you're finished with the game. I thought it would be great if there was a controller with a 900 degree rotation steering wheel. So I started searching on Google, but didn't find anything like that. All I found were console controllers with 3D printed parts connected to the left joystick. But then I discovered this. This is a 1998 Namco JogCon controller. Originally released as part of a special edition package with Ridge Racer Type 4, it has a steering wheel in the middle with force feedback. Yes, force feedback. That's pretty cool. You can still buy this controller on eBay, but it's quite expensive. I watched some reviews on YouTube and people had the same question as I did. Why don't we have anything like this today? Why doesn't any company make a controller like this anymore? Yes, we do have the Thrustmaster SWAP X Pro controller nowadays, but the steering wheel only rotates 95 degrees and that doesn't satisfy me. In my opinion, there's not much difference between this and a regular joystick. And then I thought, wait a minute, I've built a steering wheel before and now I have a 3D printer. Why not make my own steering wheel controller? So, I started designing with Fusion 360, and it took me nearly a month to finish the design. Then I started printing. The printing process was so painful because the electricity in Iraq was so unreliable. Whenever the power went out during printing, I had to start the piece all over again and just pray that the part was finished before the cutout. For the electronics, I used an Arduino Leonardo with EMC Lite software. After assembling everything, this is what the finished controller looks like. My control consists of four parts, acceleration and brake. I designed them to look like real car pedals and function like a real car. I added four buttons that I use for changing the camera view or activating the blinker lights. I use this joystick to move the camera around the car. Many steering wheels, like the Logitech G920, don't have this feature, so you need to use the mouse to rotate the camera. Yes, you can use the D-pad, but it's not nearly as effective as a joystick. Finally, the best part of this controller is the steering wheel. I used a 600PR rotary encoder, allowing it to rotate 900 degrees, which gives you a realistic steering feel. I've included the 3D parts files, diagrams, and a full tutorial in the description of this video. I know you're all curious to see how it works in the game, so I recorded some gameplay. From here on, I'll stay silent and let you enjoy the video.